Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Dago here, and welcome back to Half-Life 2. Yes. Bring it! Alright, you got one on me. I know there's gonna be another guy. Here he come. Here they come. Alright. Much better. Not, 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 not. All right. Ugh, still not very elegant, but the best that can be done. Really? All right. There we go. Much better. Attention, Freeman. It is critical that you seal the order. Working on it. Oh, great. Oh, this is not going well. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh, jeez. You saved here? No. No, 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 no. Uh, no. Load this. Jeez. That's better. Okay. know what's in there, but I want it. Those things suck. There. I'll save there. That's better. Working on it, Doc. They have the high ground, unfortunately. Do I have time to get supplies? Uh, 
Doc, you are really something else. That doesn't do anything. Oh boy. Dang it! This is stupid! Oh my gosh, get in there, Freeman! Jeez! Working on it. You are the most annoying. All right. Oh gosh. Jeez. Phew. Glad that's over. Me too. We couldn't get in till you sealed off the silo when the blast doors opened up. Try to bleed true. I better let my dad know you're all right. I have to do everything around here. Dad? Yes, Alex. Is everything okay? Is Gordon all right? Yes, he's fine. And thanks to him, the base is secure. Good. We're about to watch the transmission from Judas. We'll head right over. <sighs> the Freeman must follow. I'm so glad that they know where we are. If you would take the Freeman from here, I can return to my place of honor at the side of the Magnuson. Sure thing. Thanks for the help. Dr. Kleiner told me that Judith headed north in a helicopter right after they got here. But he wouldn't tell me why. Looks like you won't either. Alright. She whiz. Bad things are happening. Not certain how much I trust her. I'm fairly sure I've been down the location of the project. It's hard to say how much 
unfortunate might have survived intact, or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work. If it were discovered by the Combine, we'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm gonna cut this short. We may have been spotted. We should never have let her go. There was no stopping her, Eli. Wait a moment. There's something else here. <gasps> it's the Borealis. Good God. Aperture. Incredible. What? The Borealis? It's real? Oh yes, quite real, despite its almost legendary stature. Our peers at Aperture Science were at work on a project of some promise. But in their rush to beat Black Mesa for funding, they must have compromised ordinary standards of risk. We heard their research vessel had simply disappeared, vanished with all hands, and even part of the dry dock. Few believed the Borealis would ever be seen again. It should have been lost forever. Ah, but now that we've found it, we can use it against the Combine. Did you- Use it? That thing has to be destroyed. But think of the advantage for humanity. We can't simply waste all that potential. Does Black Mesa talk to you anything? There's no controlling that kind of power. Well, yes. There's always a risk, Eli. But my goodness, we have coordinates, blueprints, hailing frequencies. Quite ingenious of Dr. Mossman to hide it all in the carrier way. Well, that means she's still alive up there. But if the Combine catches... It'll tear out everything she knows. There'll be nothing left of her. But we don't know for sure I won't that... take that chance. I'm going after Dad. her. Now, Eli, the only thing worse than Judith falling into their hands would be if they should get a hold of you. She may know the particulars of the Borealis, but you, you know everything about the Resistance. Listen to Dr. Kleiner, Dad. Gordon and I are more than able to handle this. We'll get her back. Kleiner, where are you? Why isn't the decoding finished? Oh, fine. The code. Yes, Magnuson. It just needs a little bit longer. If you're waiting for the Combine to go ahead, they'll soon be here to give it to you in person. I'll hurry it along, Magnuson. I'll be back as soon as I finish. Dad, are you okay? Not again. No, I can't. I can't let it happen again. Not another black blood mesa. Dad, prepare for unforeseen consequences. What did you say? Dad! Okay. It's okay. Just, just lean into me. Let's get you off your feet. Thank you, baby. I'll be fine. Aw. Okay. Do you need anything? Actually, Alex, would you... Would you mind getting me a cup of tea? There's a... Hot plate in the old staff room. I'll be right back. Gordon, would you keep an eye on him? We're, we're not going anywhere. Thank you, baby. Unforeseen consequences. The last time I heard those words was back at Black Mesa. You had just stepped into the test chamber when he whispered them in my ear. You know who I'm talking about. Our mutual friend. When he brought in that crystal, I knew I... I should have aborted that damn test, but I didn't. The whole world went to hell that day. And now... Now he's using my little girl. Putting words in her mouth. God... Damn it. I should have known when he rescued her, it was for his own damn reasons. Gordon, there's so much I need to tell you. Between us, we may finally have a chance. Um, Here you go. Is everything all right? There's nothing, honey. All right, people, change of plans. There is no way we can launch before those striders are... Oh. Oh, excuse me if I'm interrupting tea time. I'll just step out until you've finished, if that's more convenient. It's all right, honey. Well, Freeman, 
I believe I found the perfect use for you. Follow me. Shooting Quick. you in the face. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. I'll catch up with you in a bit. You're a jerk. Can I hit you? Freeman, striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Sure. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. Whatever you say. Now what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Hmm. You're being nice enough. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out <laughs> in the field, Joystick. we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find. That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the Strider. Good. Now take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. Huh. Very well, Freeman. Try it now. A bit more challenging at this range, isn't it? Magnificent device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head out. How about now? I'm pretty much ready to head out now, Magnuson. Had enough? Yes. Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my magnesons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving <laughs> a certain microwave casserole. <laughs> oh, it's not even the- you're not even talking about the main issue. I must have stolen your lunch, ah! That's hilarious. Sorry if it wasn't labeled. I mean, ye. Hey, Dr. Freeman, over here. All right. Taking a few liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. Oh good, let's put an explosive on the back of my car. Tweak your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. Nice! No need to thank me. Now thank you, sir. This map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. The rest of the gang's up north by the old sawmill here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. Thank you. Ciao. You'll find the sawmill at the far end of the valley.
Wow. A lot of Magnuson devices. Clear. Still no sign of incursion. Keep alert. So, they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. Yeah. <laughs> We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. And in case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Now, what I want you to Attention. do... Attention! Uh -oh. North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider approaching from the cranes. Defensive positions, go! Oh, boy, here we go. Everyone ready? Stop him here. Remember, keep him distracted while Freeman takes him down. Oh, man, this is going to be bad. That's annoying. Dang it. All right. Strider at the sawmill. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, I'm out of time. I don't have time to take down a dozen striders right this second. So, thank you all so much for watching. As always, do subscribe for more shenanigans, and I will see you ah, next time.